How to tell if an extension cord is bad? Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to test an extension cord with a multimeter. Stick around until the end to learn some pro tips that could save you from potential electrical hazards. First, let's set up our multimeter. Turn the dial to the continuity and ohms setting, which is indicated by the continuity and omega symbols. Press the function button to toggle to the continuity and ohm settings. This allows you to test for continuity and resistance at the same time. If your multimeter doesn't have this feature, set it to the ohm setting. To make sure the multimeter is working correctly, touch the leads together. You should hear a beep, which indicates that there is continuity. You should see a reading of approximately 0.2 ohms, confirming that the multimeter and leads are working correctly. Now let's measure the resistance of the cord. Grab both ends of the cord. Start with the ground side of the plug. Connect the multimeter leads to the ground terminals and check the reading. It doesn't matter which side you connect the red and black probes. There is a beep, so there is continuity. A good connection will show a resistance value of around 0.8 ohms. The ground terminals are good. There should be no continuity or resistance when you connect the ground terminal to the other terminals. If you have continuity or resistance, it means the extension cord is bad. Let's repeat this process for the hot side of the plug. The hot terminal has the smaller slot. Insert one of the probe into the hot side of the female plug. Touch the other probe to the hot side of the male plug. We have continuity and the resistance value is around 0.6 ohms. Touch the other probe to the neutral and ground terminals. There should be no continuity or resistance. Since there is no continuity, we have verified that there are no short circuits. The hot terminals are good. Let's move to the neutral side of the plug. The reading shows around 0.8 ohms. Let's check the other terminals. There is no continuity or resistance for the other terminals. The neutral terminals are good. Next, let's perform a voltage check. This test involves checking the voltage coming out of the plug when it's connected to the wall outlet. If you're in the United States, the standard household voltage is 110 to 120 volts at 60 hertz. Turn the dial to the voltage setting. Press the function button to toggle from DC to AC voltage. Insert the black probe to the ground slot. Insert the red probe to the hot slot. The reading shows around 118 volts. This is a good sign. Insert the red probe into the neutral slot. The reading shows a low voltage, which is what we expected. Move the black probe from the ground slot to the hot slot. The reading shows about 117 volts, which is typical for household outlets. Consistent readings confirm that your extension cord is functioning correctly. Since you've stayed until the end, here are three pro tips for you. Pro tip number one, Always inspect your extension cords for physical damage before testing. Look for frayed wires, cracks in the insulation, or any other signs of wear and tear. Damaged cords can be a fire hazard and may lead to electric shock. Pro tip number two, store your extension cords properly after use to extend their lifespan. Avoid coiling them tightly or hanging them in a way that puts stress on the connections. Instead, loosely loop the cords and store them in a dry, cool place. Pro tip number three, I have a white extension cord, which is for indoor use. Indoor cords should never be used outside as they lack the proper insulation to withstand moisture and temperature changes. 
As you can see, outdoor extension cords are designed with a thick, durable, protective layer. I hope this video has shown you how to test an extension cord with a multimeter. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing for more electronics tips and tutorials, and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching and see you next time.